this uh, quite unprofessional video is just to give a quick comparison of the two editions of the works of Owen. So I have here the Banner of Truth edition and the new Crossway edition. Just wanted to compare these because I know uh, that is something that I would have liked to have had, not necessarily because it would have prevented me from buying anything or anything like that. Actually, I got this as a Christmas gift from my mother. And, uh, and yeah, I know when I was looking at Crossway coming out with this, I was wondering what the comparison between the two would be. I have many, not all, but I have many of the uh, Banner of Truth editions, the Gould editions of the works of Owen, and uh, and I have all of the set on Logos as well that I use, and and uh, and so with Crossway coming out with this new edition, uh, the general editor being a professor that I really appreciated, his name was Sean Wright, is Sean Wright at Southern Seminary, and then Andrew Balich actually I met him. Uh, just a couple times. He probably doesn't even remember me uh, at Southern as well. The editor here for Volume 7. I know when I heard about this, I thought this is really intriguing. I would like to uh, find out more about it. So uh, this maybe this video will be helpful for you as you wonder also what the differences are. So you'll notice that the footprint, if you want to call it that, is a little bit different in terms of the crossway volume on the left is a little bit taller and then if we were to place one on top of the other you can actually tell that there's a greater um, you can tell even more that there's a, a larger footprint for the crossway edition in terms of the width the width is about the same um, if I can get here, the width is about the same. I guess the cro the banner edition is a little bit thicker, but I'm going to explain why that's actually not the case here in a moment. If we open it up, the Crossway edition has this page which lists the 40 volumes that will be coming out, uh, including uh, the various categories that these volumes will be organized according to inside nothing special over here and nothing um and nothing particularly special on the back either and i say that because in comparison to the banner of truth edition you can see all the various volumes just printed here on the end papers and that is there i i just showed you in the crossway edition but it's not it's just not the end papers that's all um, this volume is the Holy Spirit, the Helper. And then here we can see on the table of contents that the two uh, works that are here in this volume are the reason of faith and the causes, ways, and means of understanding the mind of God. I'm going to just open to, after, after you have a very long editor's introduction, open to the beginning of the reason of faith. If I can do this one-handed. The reason of faith or the grounds whereon the scripture is believed to be the word of God with faith, divine, and supernatural. So that being there, I'll now open the Banner of Truth edition. Now the Banner of Truth edition actually includes more than just those two works. So here we're in volume four. It has the reason of faith and it has the causes, ways, and means of understanding the mind of God. But it also has these two other works that are not in the crossway volume. And so you can tell then, even though the Banner of Truth edition is slightly thicker, it's actually uh, quite a bit smaller because it includes more works. And so if we come here to the beginning the uh, opening of the work you can see the difference then let me see if i can get this up on the book stand again one-handed
So if we have the two compared to each other, it's the same, the same title, basically, uh, though there is a, a slight difference in the two titles. And then if we were to open it to the first page, we have prefatory note and a preface. And down here, we have the reason of faith. We have preliminary works, preliminary remarks, the principal design. And you'll notice this is actually not, it, it actually comes after the preface. So that's different. And then if I were to just compare these two, just from this first page here, you can see the indention of uh, the numerals one and two there in the uh, in the Crossway edition versus the Banner of Truth edition. There's a little more uh, what you might call breathing room for the texts, and then um, and then you have the uh, scripture references. Notice they're all in parentheses in the Crossway edition, and then you have a footnote a footnote down there. This is a reference to the second treatise in this volume. And, uh, and so there they've provided a little bit of, a, of an explanatory remark. It has these paragraph notes here. So has paragraph notes throughout. If we were to go a little bit further in to the Banner of Truth edition, Notice it says, Thirdly, God hath gathered up into the scripture all divine revelations given out of himself from the beginning of the world, and all that ever shall be to the, uh, shall be so to the end thereof, and all the rest. And then right here, four, one, when God first committed, and notice here they've created a paragraph break. So they're letting you know that they've included this paragraph break that wasn't there in the original. And then we have the number one there. So it does make it more readable for you. Uh, they've done editing work that has made it more readable, but the content itself is actually the same. So those are just some of the, uh, some of the differences between the two volumes. And the, uh, overall, the overall size is bigger for the Crossway volume, but a large reason for that is because of the spacing and uh, and the formatting that they've done to make it more readable. I do actually really like the uh, the design, the the print on the covers and the and the uh, you know faux leather. I don't think that's real leather uh, spine here, and so it does make it a beautiful work. Um, everyone has always appreciated the Banner of Truth works, and I I'm not exempt from that. I've always in, appreciated it, but I do particularly like the care that's going into the beauty of, uh, of these crossway volumes. Notice also volume seven is the Trinity there. And, and then also lower on the spine, it says the Holy Spirit, the helper, and one of the things that's always frustrated me about the the banner volumes, and of course you could keep the uh, spot or the dust jacket on there, and you would have slightly more information. You still have to pull it off the shelf, um, but it's always frustrated me that all you have is the volume number, and there and so there's no more information. So the only way to figure out which volume you uh, need to go and reference is by opening up one of the volumes, finding what you needed, and then going and finding that work in your uh, in your library. Whereas these crossway volumes are going to be better for reference in terms of knowing which volume I'm pulling off the shelf. So maybe that's enough of a um, an introduction to the differences between the two volumes. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments and Maybe I'll notice them and, and be able to provide you answers.